what happens is you, in a very simple way, you experience a deep peace, a deep peaceful state, because your mind drops, your mind gives you a break. And what happens is you experience the being yourself. You enter, like what did I, what did we do in the beginning of the meditation? I said, don't really try to make anything happen. Just simply dive into being. Because your being, it is coming from fifth dimension. So when you dive back into just simply being without any mental activities, without any sort of engagement with your emotions and no investment in these emotions, then vastness takes over. And as a result of that is you feel really good. You feel peaceful. You feel love. You begin to get bliss, blissed out. You feel the bliss. The more your mind becomes quiet, the more you're just in this place that you feel. And it's different than romantic love, human love. I'm not talking about that. This is deeper. This is in the underlying. Those other stuff happens on the surface. This is the underlying fabric of it. So the mind starts to evaporate because it's just thoughts. It has no substance. It has no weight. It's just thoughts. The mind starts to evaporate and you begin to get a glimpse of you, the presence which is inside you, your fifth dimensional self, and you're encountering the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are. Pure presence, pure being. All these other stuff, they're attachments to it. All your stories, your thoughts, your past, everything else, everything from the future, these are just stories attached to it. It's not the real thing. The real thing doesn't have any story. It simply is. It doesn't have an agenda. It's not even trying to go anywhere. Your fifth dimensional self, your true self, is not evolving into anything or regressing to something else. It simply is here. So when you drop your story and you're able to quiet your mind, you begin to experience it and it's juicy. It's alive. It's happening. And you're like, oh my God, this is unbelievable, oh my God. Yeah, it is. And it's in you. It's yourself. You just can't let go of your story. That's your problem. You're too stuck in there. You're too attached and addicted to your story. And that's why I'm here to cut your head off. If you get close, I'm going to cut your head off. And you're going to go without your story. That's my job. And you may think I'm your friend. Oh, I really love him. He's my friend. I'm not your friend. Don't ever make that mistake. 
I'm not your friend because I would never ever support your story. I have one job and my job is to cut your head off. Means to destroy your story and the illusion that you live in. So we're not friends. I may act like I am, but don't get fooled when I pull my sword out and cut your head off. Eventually you will thank me. There's no friendship here. Leave it. There's only one job. One mission. I know you're smiling and you're doing your head like this. I get it. But you have no idea I'm coming after you. So, you got to drop your story that you're dearly hanging on to it. This beautiful plastic bag with full of garbage, which is your story, that you keep carrying it. that's what's keeping you away and that story also ideas whatever ideas you have of how the world should be or how things should be or we go into a this romantic ideas of the spiritual seekers that they're so stuck all over the world I feel sorry for them they're so stuck, worse than mainstream people. Mainstream people are deep sleep. Spiritual seekers, it's in a second sort of a sleep. It's a second type of conditioning which is worse than the other conditioning. Because now the ego has taken over and hiding itself beyond a nice orange robe, you know, with the mala, you know, has its crystals and it's got its feathers and it's doing shamanic work and wants to heal the world and help other people. Oh, this one is really more stuck than the other one. The other one doesn't even know what's up. This one is in deep shit. Because its ego has re-emerged as the healer or whatever. You got to drop that story too. It's a story in your head. It's an ego. It's a perception. This entire awakening business is a perception it's a perception it's how you're perceiving it the entire story of good and bad is another perception because you're conditioned to believe what's right What's good, what's, what's not good, what's right, what's wrong. And now all these belief systems, they're holding you back from really truly experiencing your true self, your power, the love which is inside you derives from peace. Peace. 